What's up everyone? This is the 2015 Kia Optima SXL. This is the got the 2.0 turbo motor in it. And I want to make a video real quick showing how to get this rear subwoofer out because you can't find nothing on YouTube. So first thing you're gonna to need to do is remove the main bottom seat here. And you're gonna find two bolts, one on each side in the back. If you pull the leather down a little bit, you'll find two 12 millimeter bolts. You need to get that out in order to get to this hole here, which this will be that side piece that's coming up right along here. You'll need to take that out next. And then from there, you'll see all this plastic trim that goes along here. You need to be able to get that out. So that's all gonna be Phillips head screws all the way along there. And then you're gonna find down in here, the Phillips head screw. So once you get that out, you'll be able to lift this piece from right here. And we were using some plastic pry tools to carefully get under these pins and lift that up and this will this is just literally snapped in there and it's got some tabs in the very back that go back there in those square holes so it'll snap back in there and then you'll find some 10 millimeter bolts with on these four studs to remove your subwoofer we can see we got it already removed right here so what you're going to find out when you take this out is all of these, almost all of them on this panel had ripped off of here. And they're literally hot glued on. You can see the hot glue mark right here. So like if you look over there, that foam piece is this. It's going to have to be re-hot glued right there. But you can see most of them, like this one, came completely off. But they are marked. They have an R. This will be for the rear. So that's this, these are the very back ones. And then they have F right here for front. So you can see the one that says rear right there. Kind of, there's an R right here. Make sure to unclip the rear brake light too. Yeah, and then your rear brake light is gonna be on the passenger side. So make sure you unplug that and you're gonna have that hole right there next to the seat belt and the sidewall is where this is clipped into. So you have to unclip that. So just get yourself some plastic pry tools. It's gonna save you a lot of time. Anyway, so what we're doing is we're pulling that out because the 15 inch subwoofer we're putting in the back, the airflow is just gonna shred this coil on this little guy. And this has the Infinity system, Infinity or the JBL, it's gonna be the same thing. So we're gonna leave that open. We're gonna put a foam piece around here, similar to what this was, that will touch the grill. So we'll have a foam ring to fill in that gap. So it's gonna keep on the keep down on the vibrating a little bit. Um, if you wanted to, you could take the time to dynamat some of that. Maybe a couple pieces of dynamat up there would be helpful underneath there to get rid of the vibrating. But what we're gonna do is leave this open as somewhat of a port for airflow to get into the cab without having to leave the seat down. So that's a 2015 Kia Optima SXL Turbo. And that is how you get the subwoofer out of there. Because as you can see, you can't do it any other way. You have to take that rear deck off. And you won't be able to pull the grill off either. Because the grill is held on right here. With these Phillips head screws all the way around. That's how the grill is held on from underneath the rear deck. So you can see it's that. So there you go. That's how you get the subwoofer out. Have a good day.